This USB contains the most banned video on the internet. That sounds so corny, but I'm genuinely, I'm genuinely scared and nervous to even make this video, but I mean, let's just, uh, let's get into it. Today's video will be different. We will have four sections. One, the introduction. Two, the legality of what I'm about to watch. Three, my reaction to the film. And four, my final thoughts slash how the video affected me. Due to the video being extremely gruesome, in no way, shape, or form will I be showing it on the screen. I won't even be showing a censored version. No, it, you guys will not see it at all. You guys will just see my reaction as I watch live. Though my explanation at the end is where complications begin because I can't use the words I would like to due to YouTube's community guidelines. Plus, the video wouldn't be monetized, and if a video is not monetized, that means it wouldn't be pushed to recommended. And that's not worth it for me. I need my videos to be going to recommended because uh, this is my job at the end of the day, which is why I'm gonna have to tiptoe around certain phrases, words in this video, and I'll try my best to let you guys know what I'm saying. I'll censor the word and then I'll put like a text. Of what I, said. I will not be posting this video file anywhere as I would think that would be extremely scummy and just inappropriate. No, I'm not even posting it on Patreon. That would be just like selling this tape and I don't want to, I don't want to do that. But on Patreon, I will be posting my full uncensored explanation. You guys do not have to buy the Patreon. It is completely optional. I'm putting this one up for $5 so you guys can go check it out at the end of the video if you want to. Again, you don't have to buy it. That's why I'm trying my best here on YouTube to explain it censored, but as best I can. Trust me, I would love to be able to fully explain it here uncensored without getting limited ads, but... I just can't. All right, so let's head over to part one, the introduction. So the most banned video on the internet, what does that even mean? So the reason I'm naming it the most banned video on the internet is because anywhere you upload this, it's gonna get banned, right? I mean, it makes sense, but the original title for this video was gonna be, I bought the most illegal video in America. Like, first of all, I'm not gonna show myself doing something illegal on camera, that's just stupid. But in this case, the most banned video on the internet, it's a gore mixtape. It's a it's a gore mixtape and some say it's the worst thing you could possibly get your hands on. And I mean, there's a reason I'm filming this in the daytime. Like I'm genuinely scared to watch this bro. And I just ate, I don't wanna throw up. But yeah, some say this is the worst video you could ever get your hands on. And I'm not saying that for the video, I'm being genuinely serious. And let me ask you this, what's the worst possible thing you could think of? Is it animal? Well, this tape includes a lot of dead people, including I know I just censored that because I just don't want to mix those two words up. I don't want you two to be like, hey, no. And I know what you guys are thinking. First of all, why am I going to put myself through this? Like, there's no reason to do this, really. This tape is one of the most notorious in, like, the whole gore community. Like, if there was a gore iceberg, this is, like, this is down there. I figured I'd sit through it and explain it to you guys for educational purposes, obviously. I'm not going to sit back and laugh and, like, Oh, no, 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 no. I'm being the most respectful I can be. I'm not showing anyone else this tape. I'm not reselling it. The most I'm doing is you guys pay $5 for my explanation. And that's just me talking. Like, this, I'm not showing anything at all in this video. It's also just a reminder of how cruel our world can be. I was debating whether or not to even make this video because, I mean, this is a, this is the darkest video on the channel. And quite frankly, I don't think we're going to go past this. This is definitely a one of one, one off video. And I don't, want to go back to doing something like this so this is going to be a one-of-a-kind video and i don't think you're ever going to see this like super serious part of me like i was saying i don't want you guys to think i just got this to like this is gonna be funny this is gonna get me views like no there's a chance this video won't even be monetized you know plague moth and i which he's in the video <laughs> plague moth and i tell you multiple times in this video do not look for this which is why we're not including the name of the mixtape don't even look it up consider me the guinea pig that's gonna put myself through something horrible once and let you guys know the true realities of our world. That sounds so corny, but I mean, yes, our world can be beautiful, but like it could be horrible as well. We all know that. That's something basic we all know. Like our world is kind of dub. But yeah, like I was saying, this is a one-off video. I don't want to make another video like this and I haven't even seen the tape yet. I'm scared, bro. Like my heart's beating. I'm kind of shaking. I mean, on the bright side, if there even is a bright side, it's not like it can get any worse than this. I'm not going to go out of my way to get it. What I have, yes, it's the most banned video on the internet, but like, you know, there's there's worse stuff than this. This is just what a normie could get his hands on, right? But uh compared to the videos on the channel, I'm skipping like a thousand levels ahead and just going to this. So definitely on the bright side, we're not going to go any worse than this. This is the darkest video on the tub channel so if you don't want to watch it i understand so anyway where did i get this usb from the person i bought it from was it sketchy i don't even want to say if it was sketchy or not but they're gonna remain anonymous i'm not they're just gonna remain anonymous and uh the price i paid is also gonna remain anonymous all right so for full transparency the seller actually knew who i was he watches the channel and he gave it to me for free i was willing to buy it he gave it to me for free thank you but i didn't want to lie in the title because the title is i bought right but you know we're keeping it as bought since i was willing to buy it so just want to 
be honest with you guys. Also, I want to say that I wasn't sent the USB stick. The person just sent me the MP4 file and I decided to put it on a USB stick just for the sake of the video. Apparently, these this tape sells for a lot of money, like four figures, but all I'm going to say is I did not pay that. How do I know if what's in here is the real thing or not? Well, I actually skimmed through it and uh yeah, it's uh it's definitely real and um Plague Moth also confirmed that this is real. And if you guys don't know Plague Moth, Plague Moth is another channel here on YouTube that focuses more on gore, more on like, you know how I make morbid videos, like, but I talk about internet security, like creepy commercials, stuff like that, which is like, I, I love doing videos like that. He talks about like complete gore, like it's, so he knows his stuff, that's what I'm trying to say. And since we're talking about Moth, let's head on over to part two, which is the legality of what I'm about to watch. Hello everyone, and thank you again, Tub, for having me on the channel. I'm Plague Moth, and if you don't know me already, I host what I call the most controversial commentary on YouTube, where I cover some of the most depraved things, really, that just... I basically cover the worst things the world has to offer. So when Tuv hit me up asking me about a mixtape he obtained within about maybe, uh, you know, 10 seconds of him talking about it, I sadly knew exactly which one he had. So first and foremost, I would like to say just on his behalf as well as mine, please don't try to search for this. It's not necessary. It's already been overhyped and sensationalized before, but the reality of it is it's extremely disturbing and among some of the most disturbing of, well, <laughs> mixtapes there actually are. Finding it in general is also not exactly the easiest task, at least the authentic mixtape, because a lot of uh, shady Instagram sellers and Redditors are gonna give you a bunch of crap, including a bunch of fakes. Not the way to kind of get this material, but it's actually pretty risky because I hear tales of people putting CP in some compilations over on Reddit, so I'd probably stay away from them. So understanding this as we dive deeper, you should understand the legalities of gore, and unfortunately, they're pretty grim. And if you take a look at my channel, you'll see that I've been covering this stuff for about a little over a year now. So I understand a great deal of how to actually do this properly and respectfully and legally. The deeply disturbing reality of it is, is videos of torture, murder, accidents, uh, gruesome things like that, even sexual murder are all legal. That's right, even and animal videos are legal to watch, view, and basically just pass around. Yeah, it's a weird gray area and um, yeah, I don't like it either. The stipulation is that is if there is a act involving a minor, it is considered CP, therefore illegal. And I mean, rightfully so. I am personally against things involving kids in general, uh, let alone the worst of the absolute worst. But the weird reality in the United States is all this content is legal to watch. So as long as it's not CP, that's literally the rule of thumb. But knowing this, this has actually caused some of the most disturbing mixtapes to be crafted in recent years, including this one, especially with a certain disturbing iceberg that became very famous. This one was actually on it. However, it was surrounded by misconceptions and lies. So what's really on this mixtape is about 11 minutes or 10 minutes and 55 seconds of death, medical gore, and war crime footage, uh, primarily from the Syrian war. And yes, it focuses all on and I believe it ends with the Jean Benet Ramsey autopsy photos. Uh, many of these mixtapes do that because they're some of the most somber and upsetting photos. And the atmosphere of it is very, very disturbing. It's a very deeply disturbing video. In fact, it's actually one of the few instances where I really got disturbed and emotional over watching something and it that does not happen often so i mean it's a really disturbing one another misconception that originated with it is that this originated from the deep dark web and actually that's not the case it actually originated at 8 chan 4 chan scary brother there are also lies that there is an extended cut or cuts including a three long comparable to md pope uh, cut. This is all fabricated creepypasta by redditors who want a little bit of clout and tie to their their fame, if you will, because around the time that M.D. Pope was sensationalized, all these kind of things kind of came out of the woodwork, then the disturbing movie iceberg, and it really just sensationalized things in all the wrong ways. And actually, I've even helped provide misinformation in my very first videos on the topics, uh, actually in some of my videos because of things like this, and it's really unfortunate. Now knowing what I know now, I can safely say that while it is an extremely disturbing video, it's 100% legal, there's no spooky CP part, there's no part, there's none of that. It's just basically an edgy compilation of death. And really, I wish tough luck because while it may be an edgy compilation that many are used to now, I don't know his tolerance to things like this. And I mean, it's something else. That's simple to say.
just just so you know, Tuv's not doing anything scary or illegal. He's not in any danger. Everything's perfectly legal. The only thing that's at stake is probably his mental health. So I wish Tuv the best of luck. I don't know if he's watched it at this point. I'm providing him this clip. And again, I'd like to thank you again for having me on the channel, Tuv. It's awesome. I love your channel. You all should subscribe to him. Hit up his Patreon and get more of his content. Turn on your notifications because now you get to watch Tuv descend from this point into total madness. Just watch under the eyes. It starts there. Anyway, thank you for having me. I'm Plague Moth. Subscribe to Tuv. All right, so you guys just watched Moth speak about it. I did too, just to prepare myself for this. I'm genuinely scared. I don't know how many times I've said that, but I'm genuinely scared to watch this, and this is not fake. I have the actual video. And yeah, like Moth said, it's just my tolerance, right? I've, I've watched Gore since I was in middle school. I was 12. I'm 19 now. I'm gonna put my phone on Do Not Disturb because I don't want any notifications jump scaring me. As for the audio, right? You guys are gonna hear the audio. I'm gonna muffle it if there's any screaming or anything, and I'm just gonna cut my reactions because I'm not gonna put 10 minutes of me reacting. I just wanna cut. Let's plug this into my computer. Who recorded? So like Moth was saying, this is like the Syrian war. It's medical. There are doctors. It's not, so far, it's not like people being tortured. It's just like in the medical state and they're in the, the hospital bed, right? Who, who, who recorded this is my question. There's no audio so far, at least. There wasn't audio in, oh, fuck. Oh, that scared me. I don't want you guys to think I'm like overreacting for the video. I'm not, I'm being genuine. I, I am scared. So, so far, it's medical. It's not like being killed or like, no, it's just, medical like i'm guessing in where syria if there was a war if there's currently a war i don't know about wars like that but uh it seems like it's just that like had their body parts blown off like bombs and it just sucks because these are like legit she's wearing a diaper like it's just so far i'm three minutes and 25 seconds in seven minutes and 30 seconds remaining dude who records this this is so weird this is like traumatic i feel like there's people around right or do you think the people that are around this type of stuff are just used to it. It's moments like these where I'm thankful we're in, or I'm in America, I guess. And these are just war injuries that you would see on like soldiers. Sadly, it's just, and it's so sad seeing them wearing their pink shirts with princesses on it. And it's like, <sighs> so now I'm already eight minutes and 37 seconds in, two minutes, 18 remaining. Uh, I think it's just showing images now, like a slideshow. It's showing those autopsy photos of the, I forgot how to pronounce the name, but it's showing those autopsy photos and it's, yeah, it's sad, incredibly sad. What is this, like security footage? Oh, 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 what the, f yo, I didn't know that one. Why is no one doing anything? Why are people just walking? I can't even explain this. Finally, someone did, why did it take so long? I swear, I'm, we're almost at the end and I don't want anything like crazy bad to pop up. No, that was it. Okay, so that, what I just reacted to was the final clip. So I uh, just finished. I think it's safe to say I'm never going to make a video like this again. So it's been about 30 minutes since uh, I watched it. Need some time to uh, recollect myself. Wow, that was... um. That was something, most definitely. And um, I was really scared going into it. And yes, what was in that video file is horrible. I feel like throughout my years of just watching gore on my free time the stuff i just saw on the on the on this tape right i've seen stuff like that before even probably worse stuff but definitely still horrible i thought this was gonna like mess with me mentally more it definitely sucks but it's just that's that's my tolerance i guess that's my experiences with gore like the that i saw when i was 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 up until now still definitely i am not gonna make another video like this this is definitely like i said a one-off video that was um something i don't want to go through and i know like i watch gore in my free time but i don't specifically look for right explaining what's on the tape i feel like i already explained it as i was watching it because there's not really much more context i can provide but moth said it was syria so i'm gonna go with syria that have been uh how do i say it that i've been hurt in the syrian war and for some reason people decide to film it which is that's the part that gets to me that's really weird to me why would you want to film that it showed mostly medical so right they're on their they're on the hospital and it's just the part that hurts is seeing them cry right seeing that they're just innocent that's that's the part that hurts but there was also clips of them outside families carrying their bodies it was just that on repeat and then we saw those autopsy photos of that one girl that passed away in the 1990s what was the other thing i was gonna say at the very end which is i think probably the worst clip but it was very blurry it was security footage there's a monitor 
with a security camera and then someone's recording that with their phone but it was just so random it was just like i'm not gonna explain it but just know it was like it was it was the worst but it was so pixelated but it was just like an it was like an adult being an asshole that's the mo that's how i'll say it was adult it was an adult being a jerk to a kid i don't know how else to say that on um on youtube again i'm sorry for the censorship but you guys know why i need to censor it again guys if you want to see a more explicit explanation that is down in the link in the description it is the patreon and the option is for five dollars do not feel forced to buy this this is of course optional i would never want to force you guys to buy anything but if you would like to then the link is down in the description i want to say a big thank you to plagued moth for educating me educating us on this the legalities of this because i was not gonna make this video if it wasn't legal to watch obviously why would i do that i want to say thank you to you guys for always watching my videos and uh if you made it this far into the video thank you so much i know this is a very different video for my channel even though we're dark but this is extremely dark trust me we're not going back to another video like this quite frankly i don't want to put myself through something like this again nor do i want to watch something like this again but i'm letting you guys know don't search this up it's not like we said the name of it but i feel like someone in the comments gonna be like actually i know what clip they're talking about they're talking about it's like bro don't for the sake of people don't spread this don't no i'm gonna let you know right now it's not worth it it's just gonna f with your mental health and is it gonna f with mine that's that's the question is, am i gonna be mentally messed up after this not to be a weirdo i guess i don't think it is um i've seen a lot of stuff like just like this in my past and definitely when i first watched gore when i was like 12 that stayed with me and i still remember what i watched and what i did right after and i was speechless for about 30 minutes and yeah so <laughs> i feel like gore is something you have to level up to Ugh, that sounds so bad Ugh, don't don't quote me on that's horrible um let's break this usb stick because i don't want anything to do with this video anymore here's the piece of with the most banned video on the internet on it got a hammer right here got the usb stick right here let's get rid of this forever at least in my case i don't want anything to do with this anymore uh let's hope i get it right Okay, wow, uh, looks like I gotta go a lot harder than that. Ah! Ah! Ow! Ow! It like, it like snapped the back and hit me right in the boo, bro. Ow! It's still alive. Hold up. Okay, we gotta go again. Sorry, I don't want this to be like funny or anything, but ouch! Right in the nipple! Right on the nipple! Wow! I guess it's still like alive. We gotta get rid of it. We need to split this in half, right? Like, I don't want this to be alive at all. Break it? Like, just get rid of it. Stop existing. Dude, I used to call this a dinosaur when I was a kid. And there we go. That is finally, finally gone. All right. So yeah, finally got rid of that USB stick. And uh, it actually really like spiked back at my nipple. Like I went like that and it, and it just hit me right here. Yeah. I mean, at least we could end it off on something lighthearted, I guess. I don't plan on making another video like this. Honestly, it's just not really my thing. Imagine this video like does amazing on the channel. Like still, even if it does stats, like I'm not gonna... Not gonna do it again. Big shout out to Plague Moth. Make sure to go check out his channel down in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time I upload.